the resources and all that stuff for, for something else. But in this next topic, we're going to talk about a upcoming supercharger upgrade and how it potentially will be a lot faster very, very soon. So we'll talk about it and we'll talk about uh, all the different things because the rest of the market already pretty much is at this level of speed. Well, I guess not the rest of the market, but at least notably two companies that I know of off the top of them hit my head. So we will get into it. But if you're just joining in, my name is Dennis. I love talking about Tesla hacking as I like to call it, but basically just getting the best thing Tesla at the best possible price or just getting really good financing. So if you're interested in any of that, please hit that subscribe. And today's video is actually sponsored by my Patreon link down below in the description if you want to support the channel, but more on that later. All right, so let us take a look at this. Shout out to Inside EV's report. V4 supercharger output, output to reach 350 kilowatts in one year. So hopefully that's next year, not like two years from now. But quote, in North America, these stalls will get a built in CCS adapter, aka the Magic Dock. So right now, if you don't know, the current speed of superchargers in North America is 250 kilowatts, and actually not all of them are 250 kilowatts. There's other superchargers that get down to 150 kilowatts. There's even some that go down to 72 kilowatts. So really, depending on which supercharger you go to, it can depend on how long you're actually going to be there. When I go to supercharger speeds that are 250 kilowatts, I spend anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes at a time to wait to charge from 10 to 80% is about what my threshold to be. But if you go to a 350 kilowatt supercharger, you're really only going to save like, I want to say three to five minutes at most, which I get it. Like if you're going to be there at a supercharger for 20 minutes, saving five minutes is what, 25% of the time or 75% of the time. So it certainly can make a lot of sense. And this is good because there's other companies out there right now that can already speed up to or get charging speeds up to 350 kilowatts. I'm saying like Volkswagen, Porsche, Hyundai, Kia, and also Polestar. All these different companies can go the way up to 350. But of course, the difference is if the charging network itself, like Electrify America, EVgo, can those actually get up? The unit itself, can those, those actually get up to 300? And most of the time, you don't see as many of them, uh, not like Tesla, which a lot of them, or at least 50% in California and Los Angeles, are all 250 kilowatts. So it's going to be really cool to see that Tesla is going to release a 350 kilowatt supercharger, and hopefully it will be a lot sooner than later. So we can all speed up just a little bit quicker, because I don't know about you all, where you're at and what city you're in charging your Teslas. There's, there's times when I will wait uh, five minutes or so to get into a supercharging. And this is just normal days driving around in the commute. Uh, there's always just a lot more Teslas in the in the California, Los Angeles area, which that's good, right? More market share at the end of the day. But we're going to jump into our next topic. But before we do that, this video is actually sponsored by my Patreon link down below in the description if you want to support the channel. Water break. 